Welcome. Today we have an interview with Hassan Jallo from Asutech. He is the chief software architect and the founder of uh, Asutech. And we're going to ask him a few questions about his uh, recently awarded uh, program called DECA. So Hassan, could you please tell us a little bit more about Asutech, of course, when and how when and how it started, what you guys actually doing, and maybe about some projects you have been doing in the recent past. Uh, yeah, please fill us in. Fill us in. Okay, Asutech is a software engineering company that was founded back in 2011, but we started operating as a business in 2015. Um, we specialize in developing cross-platform software solutions, particularly tailored for the Gambian market. Um, one of the projects that we are so excited about that we worked on recently was a comprehensive business automation suite for the Chamber of Commerce, um, where we provide a technological solution for all their business processes, things that they were doing manually are now done with a software solution. Um, these kinds of solutions are not particularly um, special. They're, you have them all around the world. But if you look at the context in which they are applied, where you have a typewriter being used in 2015, and that got replaced by a software solution that not only can generate the current business uh, operations, but also uh, provide uh, all the data that has been accumulating over the years. Rather than having them go through stacks of paper to get this information, they can easily run a simple query or just look at a dashboard to tell them information that would have otherwise taken days or even weeks to put together. Wow. That's nice, that's good. And yeah. you've recently been awarded with the most innovative business concept of the year by the GCCI, the, G the Gambian G Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Yeah. And right. uh, this for your new mobile application, DECA, which, yeah. if I understand it correctly, facilitates the search for houses and apartments in the Gambia. And can you right. tell us about how you got the idea in the first place and what the app will do? In other words, which problem or problems uh, is or are being uh, addressed or solved by uh, the DECA app? Right. Um, housing in, in, in the Gambia, it's, it's, it's a very complicated thing to find, particularly for renting houses. So if you want to rent a house, you have a couple of options. The first option is to go around town and ask door by door, literally, and ask, do you have any apartments for rent in here? And the, the, the other option is you have people they call local agents. Um, you pay them per day, and you go around town with them also, and, you, and they will help you find houses. And from the questions that we have gathered is, um, most of these agents would take you around the same, uh, the same place. So you go with agent one, it takes you to house A, B, and C. Agent two will also take you to house A, B, and maybe D. So it's, it's a repetition of the same process. And it's very tedious because you can go to a house and you realize the house does not necessarily meet your specific requirements. So we thought, why not you build this mobile app that would have a listing of apartments for sale or for rent? And not only can you just browse these listings, but you can also filter by criteria. For example, you can say, I want a house that is within 200 miles from Senegambia, maybe because you work there, um, that has at least a, a three bedrooms and a kitchen and a parking lot. So the house will show you um, a listing of all houses that match that criteria. So in terms of how we came around with this idea, um, it's simple because the problem does exist. So you don't look for the idea, you look for the problem. Then you find a solution to that problem. So most of our solutions that we have on, on board, all the most of the projects that we're working on as a result of a problem be existing, either faced by the community at large or even problems that we face ourselves. So we thought it would be interesting to find a technological solution to this problem that would make it more convenient, more reliable, and faster to find houses for sale over rent. Wow, sounds very very good and very useful, of course. But um, why would people use then DECA to market their apartments, condos or houses? And also, why would people want to use DECA to find real estate instead of, for example, Airbnb? I mean, Airbnb is huge. It's worldwide. And I, I, as far as I understand, it's also available in Gambia. So what is the difference right. between um, DECA and, and Airbnb? OK, that's a good question. Um, if you look at the DECA app, it is localized for the Gambian market uh, for, a, for, for a start. Um, so it makes Gambian consumers and Gambian, people, Gambian property owners 
it gives them an easy access to have their property listed. So if, for example, you're using Airbnb, uh, the cost, if you, if you have to pay, you might end up paying in USD, and the, the exchange rate would, would increase the prices significantly. So if you're using Deca, uh, it's localized for the Gambian market. It's not like going outside and coming out, thereby creating a bottleneck. And also, you know, we, we know what is particularly interesting to the Gambian population. So we have tailored the app uh, along, along those lines. Okay, I understand. So it's more customized to the to it's the Gambia, the Gambians. Um, mm -hmm. And is it also use, uh, usable or useful for, for maybe like people who would be staying in the Gambia uh, for, for like a, a short period of time? Maybe uh, tourists who are, who are looking for an apartment? Definitely, definitely. Because um, if you if you are coming to the Gambia, for example, you can you can do a listing. You can find a listing of houses that are specifically tailored for those things, and um, you can book. You can make bookings on the app, and then you can say you are staying between this time and this time, and you can have a price range, and you can also filter by a particular location. So we are also thinking of adding more interesting ingredients on the product project. For example, things like what or the facilities are available around the neighborhood of that um, apartment to make it more interesting for people coming from outside the Gambia. I see, yes. Oh, that would, would be a very good idea. Right. And coming back to winning the award, what makes the app stand out from the rest of the submitted business concepts? I mean, um, you've, won, you've won the first prize, maybe you can show it also to uh, the, the trophy you right. won. Right, that's the trophy. Looks very nice. Oh, thank you. I, li I like looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, makes, um, what made the app stand out from the rest of the concept, uh, the, the submitted uh, business concept? Um, to... I think if there's one little thing that a lot of people find mind blowing about the app is the fact that we have virtual tours on the app. So yeah. can you so, tell uh, a little bit more about the virtual tours, how you experience it? Well, uh, we were very lucky to, to meet a gentleman called Edward de Boa. <laughs> and <laughs> so, so that, that was just the time when we were incubating the, uh, the, the whole idea of DECA. So thanks to you. So we were able to shoot these virtual tours. And we find that people find these things very, very interesting because people are very good at taking uh, shots of the best places in their properties while they ignore the other parts. So you can look at a couple of photos and you're like, wow, this is what I want. But like, if you can have a virtual tour of a property, it gives you a more comprehensive feel of how this apartment really looks like. So it makes people, it's quite, it's mind blowing for a lot of people and they find it very, very interesting. So rather than just looking at photos, you can go through the apartment, you can go in the kitchen, come out, go to the parking lot. Yeah, that's outside the, the apartment, so that's quite interesting. That's that's great, and, and I, I fully agree. That's uh, that's way better than than still photos. And actually, the, the moment I, I uh, we you and I uh, met, it was just like if I remember correctly, like two week, one or two weeks after, um, Google made it possible for us Google uh, trusted uh, for uh, Google Street View trusted photographers to also mm -hmm. publish the, the virtual tours on other platforms. So not only on Google Street View, because on Google Street View, the problem was, used to be, um, that we were not allowed to publish any uh, private houses, so not any condos, houses, apartments, or whatever. We were only allowed mm -hmm. to publish uh, local businesses, virtual tours of local businesses. And right, now, right. since we, we can also publish on a different platform, we can also uh, show, uh, host virtual tours of, of real estate, that becomes a whole different story. So what I will do, I will show shortly an, um, an apartment we, we, we shot together. Um, let me find the right window. Right. There we go. Whoa, yeah. That's the one in Koto. That's the one in Koto, yes. Um, yes. So um, what you see over here, it, it's just, um, it has the, the opportunities for quick links to go directly to a particular right. area in the in this apartment. And also right. the link here on the right-hand side, the, li the little globe that is pointing to uh, the, 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 uh, more information about the apartment. And um, 
Right. So if you click on the arrow, that's just like on, similar to Street View, but again, it's not on Street View. You can just walk forward and then enter department. And that's what, what we just yeah. said, that it's, it's way more difficult to hide anything yeah. because you can really yeah. right. move everywhere, really 360 mm -hmm. degrees around you. And with high quality photos. Yes, and the, the lighting is good, so it, it's, it's, it's way better than, than just only still photos because you can really give the people a kind of, of yeah, like, well, a virtual experience of the, of the apartment. They can already virtually walk through it. So here's the, the, the right. bedroom. Um, one other thing is what's interesting, and it's becoming more and more popular, um, and, and it will become more popular over time, is the fact that you can use um, the cardboard. So to get a, a virtual uh, 3D effect, even with the, go, uh, with the right. glasses, By, you can use the, your, your mobile phone to put them in a um, oops, to put them in a um, in a cardboard box and put it in front of mm -hmm. your eyes, and then uh, you you have like you feel your like you're immersed in the uh, in the apartment, and you really right, yeah. it feels like you're almost really there. So yeah, that that that, that feels interesting. So let's stop with the virtual tour. I think that that has been uh, shown enough. So um, then, Hassan, uh, which obstacles did you encounter while developing the app? Uh, if you like to share these with the viewers or listeners, did you, for example, suffer from scope creep? Did you? Did, want to implement more and more and more which makes the the, the uh, which took more time to, to develop the app or um, yeah what other obstacles did you encounter right uh, one of the main obstacles we encountered was uh, the fact that the app the pro we started working on the project at a time that we had a lot on our plate we have a lot of proprietary software that we were working on that we needed to wrap up so unfortunately, the scope creeps did not come into DECA, but they came into those software that we were building. Oh, so from the scope creep and other projects. <laughs> yeah. So right. So because of that, and you know, it's some, it's, it's very important to us that our clients are oversatisfied, and they, we do things exactly according to the the way they want. So because of that, we prioritize on their projects. And we always uh, let DECA take the back seat while we finalize those projects. So that is the main challenge that we had. But we 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 are happy that we made significant progress on both sides, uh, both on the the proprietary software that we are writing for some of our clients, and also on DECA that we are developing. And we are very happy that the Gambian population really accepts this product, and they are so excited about it. And um, sometimes, interestingly, I get phone calls people asking me about apartments. So people can't wait to just have this product <laughs> um, on, 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 on their palms rather than using their feet and their resources and their energy to go around town looking for an apartment. Wow. Very good. And um, if I understand it correctly, you saw this, this problem, you were starting to solve it by, by implementing the, by creating the app. And um, mm -hmm. at what stage of, of the development uh, did you decide or when did you hear about, uh, no, when did you decide to, to submit the, the app to to the um, to the GCCI for for nomination. Okay, so first um, there was a pitching competition that was uh, funded by the Youth Empowerment Project uh, under the International Trade Center. So we applied for that pitching competition, and um, typically we don't talk about our products until they are nearly done or they're ready for testing. So we participated in that pitching competition where we won the People's Choice Award. And instantaneously, the app almost went viral, and it became famous. So we, because we, we showcased the virtual tours, we talked about the functionalities of the app, we, we, talk, we talked about the problems that it will address. And that aroused the interest in the population in general and people who are particularly involved in the real estate industry. So it's through that that people are aware of DECA and, they, and I was encouraged to, to, to submit uh, this product for, for, for that uh, award. Ah, uh, now and I paid off. In which order the things yeah. happened? It wasn't totally clear to me. <laughs> right, right. And um, when did you hear, uh, and how did you hear that the DECA app was uh, being nominated by the GCCI, mm -hmm. that you were in the top three? I believe the top three it was that when you heard it the first. Yeah. Yes, the top three, top three. Yeah, it, it was announced that, you know, DECA would, these are the top three. I saw it on the catalog and 
uh, I'm, I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, and then there was the the official event. Uh, there were a lot of uh, highly placed people there. I, I I've understood from you. Um, can you tell us a bit, a little bit more about the official event? Uh, what did you have to do? How was it presented? I mean, I've seen a little bit video on on Facebook, but it was a little bit blurry. Um, so right. <laughs> can you explain a little bit more what what happened and and how you experienced uh, that particular evening. Well. The that, that, that was, it, it, was, it was quite a surprise that we saw the president himself and the vice president and the secretary general were all in that event. So, and uh, we, were, we were even more excited because the president himself was working in real estate. He was a real estate broker. And I'm sure he would understand how, what kind of problems this, this app would address. So oh, we thought that was a thing. Yeah. Yes, yes, before, yes, that's what, that's what he was doing. And you know, to the, some of the top entrepreneurs in this country, some of the, whom are even in real estate, some of whom I look up to when I was, even when I was much younger as uh, mentors or something like that. So it, it, it was quite an exciting event. So it's like the, 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 the award night uh, allowed us to, it has given us more exposure within just a short time that a couple of years. So I think it was, it, was, it was a great opportunity that we were really grateful that we were a part of. So what, did, what happened was they, they played a video of all the nominees, about three of them, and then they announced who the winner was. Uh, quite surprising. And um, then we were called on board to come and collect our award, and it was given to us by the, handed over to us by the Secretary General Service. Cool. Right. So, and I, I'm I'm sure other people also want to develop nice apps and nice applications and business concepts and everything. Um, finally, do you have uh, tips for other young entrepreneurs who would like to participate uh, in, in this uh, pitching contest first, and then maybe they also submit their concept to the GCCI uh, later? Do you have any uh, right. tips for people? Right. Um, the first thing I would say is look for problems. Um, you solve the problem, you don't need to market um, because people will just go take it. People will just grab it. You don't need to do any marketing for that. Not a lot of marketing at least. So if you, if that, if you see a problem that you think you can address, particularly with a technological solution, don't wait for tomorrow. Start today. Um, whatever that is at your disposal at the moment in terms of resources, in terms of the amount of time that you've got, uh, put it all together and just start working on this product immediately. So that, that's, the, that's the first advice. And sometimes the, these awards or these, these competitions, you're like, you know, I, I probably don't stand a chance, you know, let me, why should I even go for this? But yeah. Sometimes it feels like that. But it, it's reassuring to remember, they're just people like you that are applying for these things. There's nothing particularly special about them. They're just no human beings like you. So you wouldn't know until you give it a shot. And even if it doesn't work out, it's very encouraging because at least you get to learn what you could do better. And at least you have this experience of what you can do the next time to win the award or to do, perform a lot better than you had. Very good, good tips. And then, yeah, well, really the final question, uh, if you dare to answer it, what is the mm -hmm. expected release date for DECA? When can we download it from the, the, the Play Store or the uh, iTunes uh, App Store? So we are currently a bit late. So the first thing we want to do, we have a release date for the beta version, but we haven't finalized. Uh, when we are actually going to release the app, because it's not just about the app, but also about the business model that propels the app. Yes. So we also have to put those things in place. So finishing the app and publishing it is not the problem. But there's, there have to be an administrative aspect of the product that steers the product forward. So we are still doing some negotiations regarding that aspect. So until we finalize those aspects, we wouldn't be able to specifically say when we are going to launch it. But it is not more than a few weeks. Okay, so I, that's it. That, that's yeah. it's already. A hint. Yeah. So I will, yes, it's uh, not more than a few weeks. Store. Yeah. We keep our eyes on the App Store. I will keep on typing Deca every day to see whether I can already download it. Yeah, definitely. I, I would put you as part of the beta testers, and anybody who is interested, uh, you can drop a comment below, 
and um, I, I, I would I would be sure to go through all the comments, and we, we would we would add them as beta testers. So that would be soon, very soon. Perfect, great. Well, Hassan, thank you very much for all the information. Thank you very much for sharing uh, your knowledge and, and your experiences. We're looking forward to to downloading. Thank you very much, Matt. Pleasure and using it, and um, well, talk to you again soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you soon.